So ni ajeni majama uh, ni Deno hapa yeah, from Spartan Photography Kenya. So we are just having a, a random sitting hapa tuko na Nashman mwenyewe. Uh, kiasi hata tuambia vile ana feel kusui topic ya leo. Uh, so there is a, I started a photography class and uh, for the longest time I feel ni kama sijina limit watu kwa creativity ama sijini nini because yeah we, we, we just had some interviews hapa and na feel wasio na jaribu kukuwa kwa Spartan. Uh, a little bit about conceptual photography. Conceptual photography na tokanga from a deep place of being like nini unaweza taka ku change kwa society. So that's how mimi nilianza. So what really did I want to change kwa society? I come from Dandora. As many of you mnajua Dandov vile Dando kuko. It's a good place, ni place fit ya kuka but also we have the largest landfill in East Africa, uh, Dandora dam site and uh, ikona ikona negative side and of course ikona positive side pia of which to melan ku embrace. So as a conceptual photographer, I don't talk about the yeah, Dandora dam site but I talk about all human issues that's uh, included climate change of course that is in Dandora uh about women women empowerment yeah no about uh, gender uh, how a man should be how a woman should be uh, basically images that speak that's me that's pattern and when i started this class no one be sana sana find your niche find find kitu yenye unataka ku do as a photographer find kitu yenye unataka ina una feel at the end of the day ni kishuti kitu nasikia ngapoa Ju mimi na kuambia ukweli when nikifanya nga project hiyo day na kuanga fit like nasikia nga poa ni uko nga fit so that's what i love doing uh, so this sitting imekuwa hapa because na feel watu wanajaribu kukuwa spartan like mtu anajaribu create images zenye mimi create but that's from a personal uh, point of view so who are you maybe unaweza kuwa ya unaweza taka kukuwa kama spartan unataka kutia hizo messages but how special are you because say what's happening in the world is that most companies big companies like safaricom uh, airtel wanna to me ai so in the recent years uh, what safaricom does when the new year comes for recruiting the photographers yeah i was lucky to be part of a, a previous one a previous year to shoot calendar to shoot for their calendar so this year kitu may happen ni they selected no photographer kuko na photographer hapo while well, create images kutumia AI for their 2024 calendar what does that mean for photographers uh in AI na take over and uh, we can we can't dispute that and hakuna kitu tunaweza fanya about it be smart ina unipatia tu prompt na create anything that inataka and uh, wasi wako detailed watu wanajua kizungu hapa nje so hizo prompt ni detailed na ni poor na ni specific so this is just to kuambia photographers hapo nje learn to embrace technology and also AI is here so you as a photographer how special are you what are you doing when someone sees your image uh, what do they think what emotion does it provoke so that's the biggest challenge photographers wana kuanga nayo so that brings me to a point na shoot kwa nataka tuongelee uh ushaenda tao kwanza sunday <laughs> Eh, tao ni mada. Nilikuwa tao last week Sunday. Nilikuwa. Ah, eh, so ukienda hapo tao Sunday, eh, nini 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 imefanyika yenye umeona mpya? Actually, I, I felt I felt I felt really bad. Eh, last week Sunday tulikuwa tumeenda a certain walk ya end femicide and after kumaliza we decided to walk mpaka kwa stage yetu ya kupanda gari and apo kenya tavini vile nilifika eh hadi niliambia deno eh deno ibutulia au ni kitu na kawia like barabara mzima lane ya left ya right ma photographers wamejaa hivi wamejaa na hiyo kitu sikuona kama ni poa mimi haiku ni bamba tola tola walikuwa so many walikuwa crowded hadi space ya kupita haikuwa so in in short in short i think uh we may devalue photography yeah, because at a bit kwa tunatembea msana kuambia eh hey, kama nikupige picha so nikupatie size size 
So hizi vitu zenye tunafundisha kwa class about uh, shooting raw uh, uh, knowing uh, production vizuri uh, knowing post production vizuri do you think in a play up kwa street uh, I I don't agree at all ju mimi sisi kata niko social media and I follow a lot of people na I see kama news feed na una vitu mingi na hata nikiangalia those photos a simple mistake kama ya exposure like exposure uki wrong exposure na like the photo is bad mtu ame wrong exposure but bado umetumiwa that photo na bado mtu ali post tu hivyo hivyo so mimi i don't think kama vitu kama the post production kama they take it seriously ju if mse anaweza kosea kwa exposure naye sidhani kama uko chini kwingine anaweza patia picha like a feeling ama a mood venye picha inafaikuwe okay don't get me wrong when i'm talking about uh, shooting on raw sisemi mshoot ku edit ama sisemi of the sort but you just need to shoot quality you just need to shoot something that ukipatia client atafurahia at the end of the day mm. at the end of the day we are photographers and uh, uh, i guess if at all ata kama natakuwa the best conceptual uh, photographer in the world najua it, it all comes to money nataka do sindio and uh, i think au jana natafuta do and uh, pia wakati wetu mwanzee kamera sasa ziko hivyo available sijui ni watu wamekoma masonko ama sijui ni nini imefanyika so what do you think your point ya au kutafuta do and devaluing photography mm me i think in as much as you are looking for money you know these gadgets unanunua na pesa kwa sababu siwezi kata there kama lighting wako na quality light yenye kitambo mtu alikuwa anatamani yake nikapata light kama hii kile inaweza fanya nayo ni miraculous but how wako nazo and then again ni expensive and their spare parts ni gumu kupata uwezi sema like ako kwa bulb na wakanga mtu anoni na waka like unaweza pata hizo lights wanatumia jo of course hizo lights ni kali hiyo e, ikiaribika like replacement is around 20k and kama i'm say you are charging one photo at 50 bob hiyo ukipiga picha kumi uko na 500 hiyo inaweza kurudishia pesa ya kuba hiyo bulb ukienda hata shoot sema hata shoot kumi bado ifiki ndio ya kuba hiyo bulb ya hiyo shoot so in short majama i think uh, this is just my perspective tuna devalue photography sana tuna devalue photography mimi nikikumbuka vile nilianza photography it was hectic it was tiresome nimeshikwa kila police station hapo hivyo tao nimeshikwa kila mahali and tumekuwa threatened kamera zetu zimechukuliwa and nikiona yes sakaja alifanya kitu poa sana we need to show the beauty of Nairobi but don't you think uh, it's getting out of hand because photographers walikuwa wengi actually photographers walikuwa wengi hata i don't think if if kuna any uh, beautiful background yenye watu wanaweza pata hapo hivyo it was just kutafuta hiyo doa haraka haraka na kuenda we should not devalue photography because it's a tool that we use to speak as a, as spot and photography we shoot images that speak and videos that spark emotion but what emotions are we sparking kwa tao tumejaza na wingi wingi and uh, literally you are using a hizo camera ni, uh, actually niliona msee na 90d kwa value value sa hiyo market ya 90d 90d kano how much is it 90D roughly be yake camera body only ni ona ni 300000 okay camera body is 3000 3000 Kenyan shi, 300000 Kenyan shillings yeah. sorry so can you just uh, divide uh, photo moja wana photo moja ni so uh, 300000 atanunua hiyo camera lini and uh, ata si about kununua lini i think because uh, uh, cameras ziko na life mm. and uh, camera iko na life so can you imagine una shoot una deliver una shoot una deliver una shoot una deliver are you developing as a photographer una grow as a photographer quickly mm -mm. cuz mimi na feel like that type of photography mse mtu hawezi ka respect jikitio kwanza jiheshimu cuz kama unafanya hebu hebu sema mbona mbona wajiheshimu asem si take feelings or say you too ni fun to <laughs> ah, eh, 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 like uh -huh. Uh, you, you don't respect your work unajua i read somewhere if unataka ukuwe na value usijionyeshe kwa mtu kila saa usijionyeshe kwa mtu wewe uko tu uko tu cause ah, si kwa life hiyo ni yake tu mm. lazima usho up <laughs> <laughs> lazima usho up but you know yeah. 
kwa sababu pia mimi nishaitembea nishaitembea town na mseka niambia eh buda picha chuani unaje mimi sikuichukulia vizuri kwa sababu unanitishia picha yani wewe you are here for the money sidhani kama unaifanya sun art wewe unataka tu hiyo chuani and you are just there yani mse tu atakudharau yani that's you you jeshimu unafa ujipatie like a class mtu asikupate hivyo rahisi vile nyinyi mko tu hapo yani una beg una beg unajua ni kubeg mse yenye picha jo picha yani hata sijui vile naweza isema it's so bad kwa sababu hadi mtu anakutafuta eh picha jo eh picha eh mission ni kama ni kitu poa like you should you should shoot the purpose so uh, vile nilikuwa naambi hapo hivi na shoot so sisi tukianza anga photography it was prohibited so tulikuwa anga tunaeka clients like for a week like unatafuta client within your week like monday unatafuta client tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and then sunday una organize shoot tulikuwa tunafanya anga shoot huko hivyo na Nairobi university huko hivyo juu so sunday saturday ikifika anga ulikuwa like uko na uko na wateja karibu wa saba hivi ama wa nane unaelewa mm. but at least ilikuwa tulikuwa tunalipishana hata 500 unacheki ukiwa na wateja wa nane within your week 500 hiyo at least ilikuwa okay, okay. unacheki at least tulikuwa tuna value photography alafu ilikuwa tulikuwa ni ile goal ya tindaza shikama cameras fulani ndaza shikama cameras fulani mm, yeah. which i'm glad god pia amenisaidia at least hii niko nazo si ati naweza shika na naweza buy zingine so I guess ni ile awana awana ile hawaja ku educated because najua mashule pia ni mingi zaidi zinafundisha photography kila mtu anafundisha photography everywhere unaambia mzae ni baie kamera wako privileged that you know so ajui ile value ya the camera itself so I, i guess it's about education alafu pia kuna wengine niliongea nao pia walikuwa wananiambia wako na wako na hiyo passion wako na hiyo passion ya kushoot hiyo passion ya kushoot But then again vile tu nilisema why are you shooting? Ya yeah, mbona una shoot? Is it for the money? Is it for is it for something else? Uh, what story are you telling? Unajua ingekuwa ni story nyingine like una shoot for the money basi tengeneza tu studio mahali no set up. Yeah. Set up uanze ku shoot si ndio? Mm. At least you ta value camera. Yeah, 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 Because mimi naona hapa hivi issue kubwa ni about ku value. Si about then ikawa kuna passion pale pale kwa streets kuna passion but ni biashara mingi hiyo ni biashara mob ju unapata na sure ki charge 150 mimi ni charge so brayo hapo behind the camera sa charge chuani unaona kila mtu ataendelea ataendelea kwa chuani hawezi kuwa na client mmoja atakupatia hata tatu kwa photo kwa street shoot actually tao mm-hmm. because now ama photographer wa big wanaweza niambia uh, most of them are my friends sasa hii hakuna street shoots ni rare sana kupata street shoot ni rare shoot zenye ziko sahi ni ma baby bump hizo vitu zenye at least they are special but kupata street shoots is very rare because already watu wanajoin kenda tao tu hata hajapigia photograph yeye ataenda tu ana ana begiwa everywhere <laughs> so i guess it's about value alafu hawajui nini wanataka yes. alafu pia kitu yenye mashule mingi zinafanya which i feel ni very very wrong is uh, field work must the wingi wana 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 experience ya field hawajui vile field inaka unapata mtu ame amesomea photography for four years the fourth year ndio alipewa camera kushika oh, yeah. imagine that's hiyo hiyo ni kaa kushtuliwa mm. utakuwa ni ile tamaa yako unajua photographer kianzanga photographer kianzanga by the ana kongana ile tamaa ya kujishoot kila saa kuonekana kila saa tunaelewa but with time una understand unafaa ku differentiate between branding and shooting. Yeah, so yeah. why are you shooting? You know the biggest question. Mm. So you guys mkiwanga tao wase. Labda mko hapo hivi mna watch hii video, muniambie tu mbona nyi mu shoot? Why do you shoot? So labda uh, upatiane a finishing message tukimalize hii video, kitu naweza nataka kuambia ma photographer wenyewe wanaanza and pia kitu naweza nataka kuambia ma photographer wenyewe wanaweza nataka ku join sport and photography classes, uh, experience yako, alafu oh. just an advice. Yeah. Guys I'm telling you Spartan photography classes I'm an alumni by the way and it made me old who a person that I wanted to be ju hapo nimeambiwa you shoot the purpose nime yeah it was not about only kufunza photography but I was taught like all round kama unataka kushoot one life what you supposed to do 
if you want to shoot sports, if you want to shoot fashion, if you want to shoot portraiture, architecture, like all round photography, at least I have a little bit of knowledge. And yeah, mimi, for example, na siunge vibaya, nikienda street shoot tao, I know how I can do it. And yeah, itaka po, I'm just a yona. Yeah, say me, yeah, this one, look, this looks nice. This looks nice. Can, I cannot discount. I'm talking about a twenty street shoot tao. Says kata kuenda tijuu ma photographer so meja. I paint a picture and. Sasa hapo ndio sasa hiyo shooting with the purpose in ingililia. There's what I can do na hiyo camera nikienda hapo that itakaa tofauti. So guys I'll, I'm appealing that you join the classes. The classes are so good. It has molded me na nimefurahia and some of my friends pia nyo tulianza nao. Pia wamepoa sipoa na in as much as tunafunza photography pia we are given some advices and yenyewe kusoma tu kweli. Mimi na zimenisaidia a lot na zimenisaidia how to relate with other people how to yani how to relate na all sorts of people all sorts of client and in as a furahia manze and i want to say thank you to spartan spartan photography and the spartan photography classes as a whole yeah so guys uh, as we wind up naweza ambia tu uh, shoot with the purpose uh, know what you want to do na ujue ujue the future is uh, the youth but then again the youth ndo na destroy future so be careful that's what i would say always camouflage nasema change kama change kama nini kama chameleon like uh-huh. unajua technology nataka nini then you change to that and always be learning learn 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 and learn youtube university is free unaenda tu hapo na unaangalia everything unataka so he issue ilikuwa impromptu atakuwa tuna do anything tu na kufanya <laughs> but ni muona episodes mobs na kam watu wengi wana kam akina kevo kila mtu spartan family tupatane tupatane next episode itakuwa noma wasi <laughs>